couple of I fail to recognize, you know, the opportunity that you are providing, riding. Oh, look at right there. It's getting so warm, it's sagging. So this is why I want to torture test this, Don, because when I looked at this at the show, I'm like, is this going to get brittle? Is this going to break? Is somebody going to hit this with like a log or something? And then this side's going to crack and bust. Yep. And you assured me that it wouldn't. And I said, well, let's drive over it with a truck then. All right, do you guys remember a few videos back where I was at the trailer show? And me and that guy from Flow Trailers didn't quite see eye to eye. Well, he's got a lot more to say, so I came up here to find out. I told him I was coming, so... Okay, that's great, Don. We're right ahead up here. Hello, man. Hi, Don. How you doing, man? Doing well. How are you doing? Good, good. Yeah, so we met briefly at the show a few months ago. You were there looking at trailers. Yeah. And you came into our display area. And I failed to recognize, you know, the opportunity that you were providing for us to get some really good exposure. Well, on your well you and I talked on the phone, and it was my understanding you thought I was like a video production company just trying to sell you one of them high-end commercialized videos or something. That's what hit my mind, and that was the questions I was asking you more about what it would cost. That makes total sense. Having an upfront agreement, and it just didn't work out, and I, I blew it, and I own that. It was my mistake. So. And that's legitimately the first thing you said was we got off on the wrong foot. I was thinking one thing and you were doing something totally different and I'm sorry. Yeah. So. And, and that was, that that's big time in my book. Man. Good. Well, that's I appreciate you coming because I think we can even make a, a more in-depth video. We got some really neat things planned here. We're going to look at three of their trailers. One is not built anywhere else in the world. No one else makes it. And then we're going to try to destroy it. So yeah, let's, can you just walk us through what we're gonna be looking at? This first one is a flatbed aluminum snowmobile trailer. Flo is first with aluminum snowmobile trailers back in the 80s when the snowmobile industry was really taken off. See what this one is, this Versatrack system. So, you know, if you're doing uh, snowmobiles, this track allows you to just pull the tie down bar out. Really so these quickly. are like the snowmobile tra uh, skis right yeah, there. Right? Those okay. will be the skis. A lot of them, they had a drilled hole, right? So you had to line it up and then thread it down at the exact spot. Yep. This gives you infinite adjustability from the front to the back. So you can slide that anywhere on this trailer bed, right? Yep. Okay. That there's makes also sense. quick loops, we call them, that you can put in for ATVs and other cargo that go right into that track. Oh. So you guys were the first to create this system. Yeah, that, that was a patented feature we had back in the 80s. You know, yep. it's run its course as far as how long patents last. So it's kind of an industry standard now on this type of trailer. Okay. So, you see a Versatrack system like that, Flo invented it. So now let's take a look at the trailer that I came here to, to really yeah. see. That's this one that nobody else makes, yeah. right? True. Okay, so can you walk us through this so one? So this would be in the in the utility trailer category. Okay. okay. We call it a Cargo Max. Okay. What you have here is an all aluminum frame and a polyethylene bed that we mold out of a sheet. We're gonna get to take a look at how we do that in a little while. So this is why I want to torture test this, Don, because when I looked at this at the show, I'm like, is this going to get brittle? Is this going to break? Is somebody going to hit this with like a log or something? And then this side's going to crack and bust. Yep. And you assured me that it wouldn't. And I said, well, let's drive over it with a truck then. We've done a lot of things to it durability wise. None of them include driving them over with the truck. So we'll see. But that's the first question that a lot of people have. You're right on. And yep. they see, you know, they don't know how our polymers have advanced over the years now. Yep. And they see plastic, which we try to avoid that word. Yep. But this polymer is incredibly strong. So when you put it on an aluminum frame, it's just super lightweight. This is one of the bigger models. It's yep. just easy to move around. It's got steps molded onto the side of it. Okay. It's got a really unique feature that we have on all of our tilt bed utility models. So it's got this tilt clamp. If I loosen this up, okay, I can slide this forward. Okay, and I'll leave this limiter strap there and that'll let it tilt about, about halfway back. Okay. So what that does, if I have a low clearance machine to, to load, let's say it's a golf cart or something that just doesn't have much clearance to it. Yeah. I can tilt this strap down at a halfway back. Look at that. You, you don't have 
it's the high spot, you know. Right, it's just one even plane going up and down. No huh. other trailer has that. Okay, <clears throat> but what if you want to tilt it all the way back, Don? So then I would just take that limiter strap, and I would slide that forward. Very simply, just slide this forward too. Okay. I'm not going to do it right now, just to keep moving here. But let's say you wanted to use it for mulch. Okay. Or mulch. You're doing your rocks in your rock bed at home. You want to dump out everything. Then this ramp is in the way. Yeah. And you don't. You know, it's hard to scoop stuff out. So you can tilt it all the way back. We made it so that it'll come right up. Holy crap. It's pretty lightweight, maybe 25 pounds or so. Wow. And then you can just you slide. You can see how it's slotted right there. So you can just, it just, one guy can lift them on and off, slide them in and out. Yep. It's not a two man operation to take that off and it doesn't take very long, okay. And you clip the bifold back down. So it's safe going down the road. and. So there's really nothing on this trailer that can rot then, is no. there? What about the axles? Though? The axle is a galvanized steel axle. Uh, most axles are steel. It's a rubber torsion suspension, so it's a it's a great ride. But the galvanized is much better than, say, a, a powder coat paint. It's right. going to chip off. Well, yeah. Galvanized. Quickly. Everybody knows galvanized is what you're going to... I want to see this. LED light. Oh, look at that. And this rubber puck suspension is right, right here. Yeah, that kind of torsion, the rubber torsion suspension has everything in case, so you don't have the... Oh, look things. at this, full welds. Dude, look at this, full welds all the way around. And you know, I'm saying that because not everybody full welds all the way around. I've seen trailers where it's just spot welded here, spot welded... You're right. And you know Holy what, crap, this I is like, I just accidentally moved the whole trailer <laughs> with one oh, hand. Yeah. within the tubular frame of the trailer which is a big deal it's a molded harness run within the system so it's not going to be catching on stuff or I don't you know, see any wiring on you. so how do you change the wires then Don well you don't you really have to if you did have a short uh, they could be changed they actually pull through you use a you know a snake system of okay so through. everything is completely in case oh so you could take the back cap off if you had to run new wiring yep to get at it. Uh -huh. LED lights to see how this is actually within the aluminum extrusion. It's in case if you were to back this into something, yep. you're gonna hit metal and not break your lights off. Like oh yeah, so, so the lights are actually protected by the frame. Right. So it's indented into the frame. So yep. the frame's built in to protect it. Huh. Thing that's really okay. Cool. They actually bolt the bed down, the body of the trailer down to the frame. So they're into the frame. So this is where you can tie off all your stuff. You've got all those tie off points right in the bed. That makes sense. That makes sense. So this so these D-rings connect the bed to the trailer, but they also become your tie down points because you can't tie down to this. Right. This is not meant to be a tie down. You're not gonna hook a strap up to this and, and pull on it. Okay. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to complement the Cargo Max with an all aluminum utility trailer, which is a very common category of trailers out in the world, especially in this salty part of the world where we're in. So we came out with this Versamax UT, with several sizes. This is the 14 and a half, 79 inches wide. We came out with this product about 
Oh, a year, a little over a year ago. Okay. And it's going over extremely well. This one's all aluminum. It's got the, the similar galvanized axle. Mm. Um, it's got optional side kits that you can take on and off. And a lot of people, they might not want them, which is why they might choose a trailer like this over that. Okay. If they want a flatbed for some reason, you could take them off easily. Okay. Now the really common thing is side load. So if you want to load a four wheeler on the front, the front part on each side. Oh, look at that. Of the side kit double as a loading <laughs> ramp. Look at oh, and you can grab the ramp from over there, right? Yep. So and then you can load up here, but you could also flat load something. So I could stick a pallet of material right. on the front of here. Exactly. And then I could put these back down in place. And now I know that that's secure. There's they a just slide. Height, sides, you can get the taller sides. These are the most common. But here's a problem that we solved that we found on all utility trailers when we were doing our okay. R&D and our homework on coming out with this. They're very loud on, on these side load ramps. So that's never pleasant when you're driving on the road. Is that, is that, is that normal on, on other trailers? Well, this one's actually tighter than most. Most of them are rattling a lot worse than that. Okay. And you got two of them. Yeah. And it's just it's just loud and bangy, right? So we wanted to solve that. Okay. So we've got these expanders in there. You put one in each side. Completely silence that. Okay, I got I gotta try that, Don. Okay. Alright, I wanna see if that's <laughs> that was a heck of an effort. <laughs> okay, you're not lying. Okay. So nice and quiet, right? Alright. Um Little things, side steps to get in. You know, sometimes if you're oh, up You got one, for... two, three side steps. If you don't think of it, some people are out shopping for a trailer, they don't have that. They don't think of it and they get home, it's like, well, that'd be nice. So they're yeah. a standard on all of ours. Standard? Standard. Okay, yeah. not enough. What about these tie down rings in the in the middle here? Yeah, so this has the VersaTrack, like the first trailer we looked at. You can put these D-rings, you know, the, the deck is welded to the frame. It's all one superstructure, but these can go in there for tie downs anywhere in the track you want. So these will slide too? Yeah, you can just loosen them up and put them wherever you want. Wherever you want them. There's a couple styles. This is a flat style. There's a D-ring style. So there's options. Okay. So all kinds of tie-down flexibility. This ramp, you know, this is a heavier duty trailer, this tandem axle for it. So this is a heavier duty ramp for it. It's a bifold ramp. Folds up, got some bungees on each side to secure it. So that ties the ramp to itself, and then you secure the ramp, and then you pin you pin the ramp there. And you're pinning the back ramp. You're not pinning the front ramp. So this one this one locks everything in place and also probably silences it, right? Right. Yeah. You can see we silenced it here too with some yeah, you, UHMW uh, silencers in there. Yeah, but you, you get also, a little bit out of that, but.
flip it over. So we're gonna do that again. We're gonna do it the lengthwise now. Are you ready? So is that gonna come back to life, you think? I think that will pop back. I don't see any cracking or anything like that, do you? I don't. Here, will you hold this? I'm sure. gonna try to pop it back. Maybe just flip it over, yeah. But if I hit that with a hammer, I can get that to pop back in yeah, place. Yeah, there's a little bit of a wow right there, but I think you could, I think you could do what you just said and it still make a trailer out of this thing. It didn't crack it. Let's do it again. He wants to do it again. Just lengthwise or both? Both. Let's just, let's just hit we'll it. Do both again. Just uh, non-stop. Let's just smack that son of a duck. <laughs> it's kind of impressive that it doesn't crack it though, isn't it? And it's cold out. We got no cracking on the side. You guys are like, oh, nobody's ever gonna run their trailer over, but a log, a tree might fall on them. You might be loaded and have something hit the side. So this kind of proves that it's not gonna crush. I don't even see, this isn't even broken. Let's see if we can bang this out. Right, right there for a second. All right. All right. Let's take a look at it. See a little deflection there. I mean, you got a little bit of wobble right there, but nothing is broken. There's nothing broke. So off camera, Don was telling me a story about a couple that had bought in one of those Cargo Max trailers and one of their trees had fallen on it and crushed the trailer down. The insurance truster came out, seen the tree laying across the trailer and called it a total loss. The next day, the tree company came out, cut the tree, peeled it off from the trailer and the trailer sat out in the summer sun for a day and before you knew it they came back another day and the trailer was back to life as if nothing had even landed on it and so it got me to thinking i wonder if we could knock some of them whoop de woos out of there if we used the heat gun so off camera we took a heat gun and we started to work on that trailer we were able to pound out almost all of the whoop de woos that were in that trailer from driving over it so that's just how it shows just a little bit how durable these things, this new polymers actually are. All right, well, looks like, uh, looks like you guys passed the test. Oh, good, good. <laughs> yeah, holy cow. I want a coffee of that. <laughs> wow, well, all right. 
done. Thank you. Good Thanks job. for showing yeah, us around bet. today. Thanks for coming. Thanks for everything. Thank you guys for assisting and helping and letting me come in and invade your factory. Thank you for all of that. Um, all right, you guys. Well, that's it. Don, I guess, did have a lot more to say. I did. <laughs> and, we got, and we got to check it out. So you guys let me know what you think. You know, um, I, I, just, I just love the fact that the, he invited us up and was willing to... This was my idea. And he was willing to... He just said, let's try. I think that goes a long way. I think that's pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. God bless you guys. Go get them, and we'll catch you on another one. What a fun day. What a gorgeous day, too. See you guys.